See, Boo is a very good daddy to the kittens. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. How are you? Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Simba. You look blue right now. The way the lighting is, he looks blue. It is morning mail time. Yesterday we opened some cards. Today we are going to open some of the big boxes. Let's see what the cat's got. Ooh, look at this. It looks like crunchies. Ooh, and there's more. The cat's got a container of amazing grasses, amazing trio. This is barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa. This is what I put in the raw food that I make for the cats. Basically what it is, is a powdered form of cat grass. And cat grass is wheat grass or oat grass. And this is a trio of barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa. Those are the only ingredients in this green powder and that's why I like it. Thank you so much. We also have a bag of blue wilderness crunchies. Boo's checking it out already. This is salmon flavor. And this is an 11 pound bag. And this is great for the inside cats and the outside cats because this is what I put in the automatic feeder outside. And I'll also be putting this in the new automatic feeder inside. The cats also got a K&H Electrosoft heated pet bed. This is a small bed. This is 14 inches by 18 inches. And I had put this on the Amazon wish list because I thought this would be nice to put in the cat shelter outside that does not have one of these. So there is Hydrox's house shelter, which has the heated house um, that has one of these in the heated house. It, comes with it. Then there is the custom made wooden cat shelter which has a medium size one of these in it. And then I have the blue rubber made tub cat shelter and that only has the self heating pet mat. So I thought it might be nice to put one of these heated pet beds in that one and see if someone uses it whether Ditto uses it or the tabby cat or whoever. So thank you so much. This is great. And then there is this other box. Not sure what this is. It says it is a UFO basic. What could this be? Oh, could this be, could this be the, the tripod? Oh, maybe it is the tripod. So this is a tripod that was very highly rated. And what makes this tripod very highly rated uh, is the legs on it because not only do you have like a standard tripod, but these legs are fully bendable and moldable. So uh, it lets you uh, stabilize a camera in many different locations and like unique angles and stuff. And with the cats, I also like the fact that you could just hold it like this. Um, so I do have a gorilla pod, but it is kind of big and bulky. And um, this is definitely light, more lighter weight and more streamlined, which is great. And I definitely would like to try uh, using a tripod more often, but the reality when filming cats is, is it's extremely hard to set up a shot and then expect a cat to, you know, get in the shot, especially when you're doing it 
uh, really quickly, like like with a daily vlog. You know, it's one thing if you're only putting out one video a week, um, you can spend a whole lot more time getting the shots you want and making sure everything is perfect. But when you're putting videos out on a daily basis, uh, that's pretty much like nearly impossible, especially when it's, you know, more than uh, a minute or two long. So I'm hoping this comes in handy. So thank you so much. It also has an adapter for the top of it so you could actually use it with a cell phone also. And the note that came with it says, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. Thank you so much, Janet Stemper, for all of these goodies. The cats are going to love the crunchies. I'm sure one of the outside cats will appreciate the heated pet bed and the tripod is going to help make the videos on this channel. Oh, and the grass too. Thank you so much for sending a very important ingredient for the raw food that I make for the cats. Okay, let's do another big box. I wonder what this is. Actually, as I'm opening this, I think I'm remembering that I still have a box or two in my car that I forgot to bring in yesterday because it was snowing. What do we have here? It says, hi, Lucky Ferrell's mom. Please use this for yourself and treat yourself for Christmas. We love the videos and learn a lot more. Merry Christmas, Du Chat Noir. Thank you so much, Du Chat Noir. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Look what we have. This is so cool. This is the Zoom Clean Aromatherapy Laundry Soap. This is the Frankincense and Myrrh scent and Stella and the cats love this. So I make sure whenever I wash their blankets or their towels that I use this and I love this also. And this is like super condensed, so a little bit of this goes a very long way. This lasts me probably like six months. So thank you so much. What is this? What do we have here? Oh, it smells so good too, I could already smell it. Am I smelling the laundry soap or is there actually, this is what I was smelling, oh my gosh love 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 this so this is the zoom bars this is the goat's milk soap frankincense and myrrh smells amazing like if i left one out right now it could be an air freshener these smell so good and this is the soap that stella goes crazy for like when i come out of the shower she loves smelling my legs and licking my legs after i use this soap thank you so much and the cats got a bag of Instinct Raw Boost Mixers. Thank you so much. I put these in their automatic feeders when I'm away on an overnight trip or for a weekend. And yeah, these work well because they're freeze dried and I don't have to worry about putting raw food in the feeder. These are raw, but they're dried. And the cats got a bag of crunchies. This is the Blue Wilderness Duck flavor. They love these also. They pretty much love any of these Blue Wilderness Crunchies. Thank you so much. These will be used for the inside cats as well as for the outside automatic feeder. And we know how much these cats love Crunchies, so this is definitely going to be a hit with them. Thank you so much for all of these wonderful gifts. For breakfast today, the cats are having a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets because I know they like this. And that way I, I know they'll eat it. And then for dinner tonight, they'll have the raw food because it should be thawed out by then. And today I just took the food right out of the can. I did not mix any water into it. I did not put any crunches on it. I just gave it to them as is. It's 9.06 a.m. I just opened the back door and Hijax was here. I don't know if he's been sitting here, but there's quite a lot of paw prints. So I am going to go outside and give him some food. It's about 25 degrees out, I believe. I don't know what it is around his shelter, but on the, uh, on the sensors in the yard, it's 22. I just gave Hydrax two cans of food. Um, one is in each side of this heated kitty cafe. 
either he eats both of them or whatever he doesn't eat, maybe Ditto or another cat will eat. And this is what the heated pet bowl is doing. It's keeping the water liquid and not frozen, which is good. And here you can see where all of the birds got into the feeder. Now, in the past, I have blocked off the top portion of the feeder and the birds just get in the bottom. Look at all the cat tracks in the snow. A whole bunch of them. They split off in two different directions. What I find interesting is that I don't see any tracks into or out of the shelter. This is the shelter that's under the house. Of course you can see how under the house there are areas that don't get snow. They don't get like rain, snow, nothing. It stays dry under there. So potentially an animal could have walked along that pathway and like into and out of the house, but I haven't seen any. And there's Hydrox, he's hanging out in the sun. I am not going to put any food near him because it will freeze. And where he is right now, that thermometer is reading 55 degrees because it's in the sun. And that's Hydrox's little microclimate over there. So that's why he likes laying by the house over there. It is 9.57 a.m. I'm trying to eat some breakfast and then I need to leave and get to work because I'm a bit late today. And I don't want to have any cat hair on me. I'm wearing like velvet pants. And look who just sat on my seat. Like I was sitting here and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get any cat hair on myself. And look, it's Stella. It is 4.50 p.m. Let's take a look at these bowls. Look, someone ate all of the food. That is great. Hopefully it was not birds because if we look up here, we see a lot of bird tracks, so. However, there is a lot of dry food in the feeder. I just mixed up two of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets for cats with a whole can of the Trader Joe's Turkey and Giblets, and I mixed in a bunch of water and I split it between both of these bowls. So we'll see if Hydrox eats it. Right now he's in his house. He's toasty warm in his house. You can't really see it, but he's in there. There's Hydrox, he's in his house. Today is day 19 of this reverse advent calendar for cats. We are filling compartment number 19 and we are filling it with two cans of the wholehearted grain-free cat food. This is the masterfully minced chicken and tuna recipe in gravy. And this is what the reverse advent calendar looks like after 19 days have been filled in. It's looking really good. It is 6.33 p.m. right now. And these are some towels that I have been drying up like the snow puddles with. Like obviously when you walk in from the snow, sometimes you can drag some snow in with you. And uh, that's what I use these towels for. And Stella's been laying on them. Stella's been using them as like a bed. And these are my new snow crocs. They're not really crocs. They're just like a generic version of them. I got them at the Christmas tree shop the other day. They were like, I think it was $6 for this pair. Um, what I liked about them is obviously they are waterproof and they're really warm. They're like uh, nice and fuzzy and furry inside. I still haven't um, taken the, uh, the tags off and everything. I haven't worn them outside yet. But what I like about them is you just, you know, slip them on run outside, feed the cats, do whatever you need to do, come inside and flip them off. And with snow and sleet, uh, that's why I like these, that they're like waterproof and they're, they're toasty warm. So Stella's gonna hang out here. Stella, you feeling okay? You feel okay? Stella says she feels okay. She just wants to be alone and she likes laying on towels. And here's Boo. He's hanging out on the couch with me. I'm just about to sit down and edit a video. And he's like all ready, ready to just hang out. Tonight we are trying the new automatic feeder with a metal sheet pen. Uh, this is one of the ones that I put parchment paper on and I freeze the raw food for the cats. So I'm just curious to see if this works better than the plastic one. The plastic one was uh, lighter, so it was easier for them to move it. And this one is slightly bigger, it's a bit bigger. So I'm wondering if it's better because when the food falls out, it'll spread out farther on the tray 
it'll be more comfortable for them to eat. Um, I don't know, but Stella says she's ready. And I'm sorry for the weird lighting. Uh, the TV is on, and that is affecting it. So, um, yeah. Um, I don't know what time it is now, but it's not 9.30. I want to say maybe it's like 8.30. Uh, so Stella has a long time to wait. It's 7.40, so it's even earlier than I thought it was. Stella's trying to get in the feeder. This is the, you know, the same feeder that's outside, like the raccoon proof feeder. So I'll be shocked if Stella can get herself inside of it to get at the food. There is like a latch on the top, like where she's smelling, that's where the latch is. I mean, if she's smart enough to open the top lid, that would be pretty incredible. It's 7.45 right now, so. She has an hour and 45 minutes before it goes off. Okay. She's looking at Boo. Boo's sitting kind of behind me. So here's Stella and Oh, there's Splash. Splash was sitting on the other side of the tray. Hey, Splash. How you doing, Splashy? So what just happened was the, uh, the feeder went off and the cats all like ran to the feeder, but they spooked each other. So then they all ran away and then they all just came back and they're all just trying to figure out, okay, well, how are we gonna eat this? So it worked out well on this tray, but let's see what they do. Are they gonna get in a fight over the food? Is Boo gonna eat it all? Are they just going to let Boo eat it because they're afraid of getting bopped? Are they going to share it? Like what's going to happen? Boo's very hesitant. They don't know what to do. Boo's like, what do you want me to do here? But I want them to learn to share this. I want them to learn to get along eating this and to share it. Now, yesterday it dispensed way too much food and today it dispensed the right amount, which is about a quarter of a cup. But I might actually increase that because to me that, that would be, um, let's see, two tablespoons is an eighth of a cup. So then four tablespoons would be a quarter of a cup and that would be like one tablespoon each. And when I give the cats their crunchies, they usually get like two tablespoons each. So I might increase that. But right now I just want to see like who's going to eat it. What's going to happen? That's what I was waiting for. I knew Stella was going to do that. I mean, I'm waiting for them all to just do that. They just need to just put their paws in, pull it to their their side of the tray. I'm surprised that Splash and Simba are not eating any. I mean, really, it's not very different from when they would all share, um, you know, the interactive feeder. And actually, now that I say that, since it is now winter, it's no longer ant season, I could probably take that interactive feeder out. It was like almost like a game board for cats. And you put crunchies in it and they had a, 
you know, maneuver the crunchies out of it. Yeah. Stella's been waiting almost two hours for this, so I'm glad she's enjoying it. And Boo's just like sitting there. Is he going to eat more? He's being a gentleman right now. Right now it is 9.46 and it looks like Stella and Boo ate all the crunchies among the two of them, which is okay, because it was only a quarter of a cup. And yeah, so Stella was eating it at first, and then she moved over, and then Boo was eating them. And so it looked like they actually took turns. And um, Splash wants some crunchies, and so does Simba. So I'm going to give them some crunchies. There's a bunch of boxes around because, you know, I opened Mal this morning and I left the boxes here because I thought the cats would like to play with them and they've been having a good time. Not really sitting in them, but kind of, um, you know, kind of, but kind of chasing each other around the boxes. Here's what I did for Stella. I put this box on its side and I put, um, one of the cat blankets in it and Stella was laying in it a little while ago so we'll see uh, if anyone sleeps in it maybe Boo would like to sleep in it overnight Boo was sleeping on that blanket last night so we'll see it is 8 a.m. good morning Stella how are you today how you doing Stella good morning Simba how are you today the cats had some treats this morning. They had some blue buffalo, blue wilderness treats. And uh, so now they're nice and calm. When I first woke up, they were just like really hyper. Here's Boo. Hello, Boo. Boo says, don't forget me. Make sure you say good morning to me. Okay, good morning, Boo. I'm here with Simba. And it is time for some morning mail time. So let's open up some mail and let's see what the cat's got. Stella just joined us and Boo's a few feet away. What did you get, Simba? Oh, they got a card. Look how pretty that card is with the little village in the snow. Oh, and look, there's a little cat. Is that Santa? Santa with a cat. Look how cute that is. I think it's Santa. And this says Miss Farrell, Stella, Simba, Boo, Splash, and Hydrox, Grandma Two, and Animal Yard Friends. Merry Christmas, Silent Night, Holy Night, All is Calm, All is Bright. And this is from Evelyn Stafford. Thank you so much, Evelyn Stafford, for such a beautiful card. Here is the next card, and I'm opening it this way because I don't want to give away any addresses or anything. Oh, look at this card with the little kittens. They're all dressed in their Santa caps, and it looks like, are they sleeping in a giant stocking, or is that just like a Christmas blanket? It's really cute. Look at the cats. Look at the little kittens. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas from Wanda Spradlin. This says, Dear Lucky Ferals, I really love to watch Stella, Simba, Hydrox, Boo, and Splash. They are such beautiful cats. Hope all of you have an awesome Christmas. Thank you so much, Wanda. I hope you have an awesome Christmas. Also, that's such a cute card. Let's open another card. And this says, we wish you a very meowy Christmas. Look at the cats. Look how cute they're dressed up for Christmas. 
Isn't that a fun card? This says, Merry Christmas to LF Human and Splash Stella Simba Boo Hydrax and Ditto and a furry Mew year. Uh, hugs and kisses from Victoria, Jake, Onyx, Harry Tux, and Anna. Outside, Buford, Elvira, Penelope, Midnight, and Freddy. Wow, that's a lot of cats. Thank you guys so much for this cute card. Okay, let's open another card. Since Simba left us, we can look at the cards while I'm opening more. And this card says Happy Holidays. And it has red birds on it. The cats love watching red birds. This says Dearest Boo, Stella Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, Grandma and Grandpa Feral, and of course Lady Feral. Peace, goodwill, and happiness. Thank you for all that you do for the very lucky ferals. Here's hoping 2020 brings such luck and love to all ferals. Merry, merry EJ. And thank you so much, EJ, for your generous donation. Yeah, thank you for this beautiful card. And we have another card here. It says, Silent Night. And look at that. It has a cat sleeping with a dog. Isn't that cute? It looks like Stella, too. It says, May your Christmas be filled with peace and happy moments with those you love. Merry Christmas. Dear Lucky Ferals, Boo, Stella, Simba, Splash, Hydrox, and Ditto, we all love your videos and wish you all a better new year in 2020. This is from Sasha, King Arthur of Camelot, Peter the Great, Sir Lawrence of Arabia, Jesse the Cowgirl, Jamie King of the Scots, King Harold II, Sir Grayson and their dad, Ray Kistner. Thank you so much, Ray, for this really cute card. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a great 2020 also. And we will do one more card. Look at the cute cat sticker. Looks like a little Simba. Oh, this is a big card. <gasps> Look at that. It looks like a little Simba. Warning, this Christmas surprise isn't for the faint-hearted. He's wearing an ugly sweater too. His ugly sweater has some a fish on it, and it says tuna. It's really cute. Tickle me. <laughs> oh my God, the card, the card is purring and shaking. Oh, here comes Boo. Boo's upset. Oh, Simba's here too. Oh, Stella's here too. They're all here. Here's Stella. They're upset about the cat. They think the cat's in trouble. They want to help the cat. Stella's maternal instincts just kicked in, and did you see that? Maybe her and Boo are gonna reunite over a kitten. <coughs> Simba, why are you attacking Boo? Why did you just attack Boo, huh? Why? There's no reason for that. And this card says, thank you for everything you do for us from the videos, giveaways, and for sharing Stella, Simba, Splash, Boo, Hydrox, Ditto with us. This kitty reminds me of Simba. Simba, you wanna help this kitten? Simba. 
See, Boo's very concerned. See what a good dad Boo is? He's very concerned about the little baby. He wants to make sure it's all right. See, Boo is a very good daddy to the kittens. What are you doing? What are you doing, mister? What are you doing, Simba? Simba, you want a timeout? Want a timeout? It's okay, Boo. You're a good daddy. Okay? I know. You're very concerned over the kitten. It's okay. It's okay. The kitten's okay, okay? Then it says, only the cute hearted. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love, Zoa and Marty. So it says, warning, this Christmas surprise isn't for the faint hearted, only the cute hearted. That's really, really cute. And the cats love this card. They're all very concerned about it. So Boo's still looking. Boo is determined to find out what's causing the problems that the kitten has because it does sound a little bit like the kitten's in trouble. He wants to make sure everything's okay. Everything's okay, Boo. It's okay. Everything is okay. Here's Stella. Stella's watching Boo. He's in slow motion mode. Boo's in slow motion mode. It's okay, Boo. You're okay. It's okay, Boo. The cat's okay. The cat's okay, Boo. Today is day 20 for the reverse advent calendar for cats. And you can't see him right now, but guess who's sitting on the stairs? It's Boo. And there goes Splash. And today we are filling compartment number 20. And we are filling number 20 with two cans of cat food. These are both wholehearted, grain-free cat foods. They're both mouth-watering morsels. The one on top is chicken with veggies recipe. And the one on bottom is liver and chicken with veggies recipe. I thought when I bought them, they were both chicken with veggies, but I guess um, one of them was liver and chicken with veggies. And this is what it looks like with 20 days completed in this reverse advent calendar. I know these cats would be happy to receive something like this, so I'm hoping the cats in a local shelter will love it also. Boo says, how come he doesn't get to eat all that food? Boo, you want breakfast? What do you want for breakfast? We're going to have rabbit nuggets. You want some rabbit nuggets? You like rabbit nuggets? Boo, you like rabbit nuggets. The cats are eating their breakfast. They're having primal raw rabbit nuggets for cats with a few crunchies on top and there's water mixed in. I just moved a bowl of food over here closer to where Hydrox is, but I can't leave it here long because it will freeze. This is a bowl of completely frozen food. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.